So hello everyone. Uh, you must be thinking that how you know these WPC MPC boards uh, you know are made, and this is the video you know for you if you are thinking that that how WPC MPC boards. What is the blend? What is the composition? Let's understand that, and after that we will understand कि उसका process क्या है बनने का. You know what is the process of manufacturing, and then we are going to understand the specifications and the dimension part. So sounds good. So let's start with the composition part. So when we talk about the composition of WPC boards and MPC boards, more or less the composition stands out to the same. They both are made with virgin polymer, which is a PVC polymer, polyvinyl chloride polymer. So that is very very clear that the both of the products, whether it is MPC or whether it is WPC, they are having 70% of the virgin polymer. Then the another layer is, you know, is 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 the additive layer. so the 15% of the additives in both of these products you know whether you know it is mpc or whether it is wpc remains the same and when i say additives you must be thinking that what do we add as additives right so let me address that so in additives you know there are basically six seven elements so the first element is the foaming agent which foams you know the entire material the second would be uh, the processing agent you know which helps you help the material to get it processed while it is undergoing an extrusion process the third thing you know which is very very important you know are uh, the whitening agent and the brightening agents and the uv pigments you know which are also very vital role you know for the different you know the white color with you know which comes you know on the top of and the bottom of the board that is also very very important and another thing you know is the lubricants you know all the external and the internal lubricants are also a part of uh, the processing uh, you know parameters and they are a part you know of additives so these majorly four five things you know is are, are really really very important you know when i talk about the additive part and in both the products you know these additives remain the same so now you must be thinking that if i'm talking that this product and this product is same what is the difference you are interested in knowing the difference right so let me address that the, that how these both are different so when i come on the last layer that is the topmost layer that is the 15% of which is there in wpc and the 15% what's there in mpc that differentiates both the products so when i talk about wpc in that we add 15% of the wood powder and we don't cut wood ha huh, to use this wood powder we procure the wood powder which is there you know in the saw mills and then we further refine that you know to 80 mesh and then we add that in our process So that is the major 15% ingredient you know in WPC and when i talk about MPC the 15% ingredient you know is what that you know is put into the material and that is basically mineral fibers like calcium carbonates and etc so they both are added to the product to add dimensional stability you know to the product so that's the only 15% you know which which actually differentiates the, these two products rest majorly in terms of properties in terms of overall you know technicalities these products you know remains at the same parameters you know on the same lines it's just that the wpc is beige in color because it has wood powder and the mpc or the pvc sheets you know which people also call pvc sheet pvc foam sheet there are different different names you know to call the same product so that is white in color wpc is beige in color so this is the basic difference in both of them but yes if somebody asks you right that uh, how are they different so in terms of color they are different but yes in terms of more or less properties they are same they both are waterproof they both are termite proof you know they both are borer dampness proof so in terms of they both are a green product fire retardant product so in parameters in physical parameters you know they both of the products you know stand on the same grounds and that is exactly you know what i think you must know right before making a buying decision and getting confused that no i need wpc or should i go for mpc i think this would really really help you to make your buying decision faster so coming after the composition you must be interested in knowing what's the process right and i hope that i'm not making you bored so when i talk about process so it's very simple not going into the technicalities i know you would not be interested in knowing the technical part that how the process runs and i'm not also letting you go into that detail so by letting you know that yes it's just made through an extrusion process if someone asks you that you know it's made through what process so you must be aware that the product what you buying you know is how it is made 
So it's just through an extrusion process like any polymer goes into a gelation process, you know, while it is getting extruded. In a very similar way, it just get extruded and that's it. That's the way, that's it. You know, all the raw materials, you know, they get first mixed. The, they get a hot, in a hot mixer, they get mixed, then they come to a cold, cold mixer and after that it goes into uh, extruder and then after extruder it goes into a calibrator and after calibrator that the part comes off to the haul off and then finally it's cut and it's tagged and it gets shipped to you after the packing and that's it. That's the only process, you know, which is there. There's no rocket science. It's almost close to 120 feet long line, you know, which is which is there, you know, which which on which these boats are manufactured. And that is it about the process. Nothing more than that. I don't think so. It's required for you as a customer to know, right? Then, very important that what are we manufacturing? So when uh, you want to know that what thicknesses are we manufacturing? So here you go, you know, on this side, you know, of the screen, you can have a look that what all the different thicknesses, you know, what we are making, we are making almost all the thicknesses, what the industry needs, what the consumer needs. And when I talk about the density, so here comes the dimension and the density chart. So in terms of like each and every dimension, what has what density, you know, is written up over here. I think these two charts would really, really make your buying decision easy that, you know, what all are available, right? And if you want to know that exactly what thickness, you know, you should go for, I think you need to watch another video, right? I think. So let's summarize the entire video content. So are we clear, you know, with, with what was the composition? I think we are very clear with what was the process. We are very clear with what are the thicknesses and the dimensions, right? And the standard dimensions of the product are eight by four, but if there is any customization required, like in case of grills or even in case of boards, which, which are being required, we can definitely do that. You, you should have no, uh, hitches or glitches you know in your mind that can we be able to provide you a customized product yes we would be but yes on a certain moq it must be there but yes that's all you know in on these four parameters you need to know and i think this will suffice you in, in you know before taking any buying decision of wpc or npc products thank you